Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So we are seeing big tech companies like Apple and Meta now entering the race for the humanoid robot. And the entrance of Apple and Meta only validates the size of the total addressable market for humanoid robots. But Tesla has some clear advantages in this race, but this race towards the humanoid robot market, despite being so big it's hard to even imagine, might only be the first step for Tesla to transform into something completely different. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So it seems like the big boys are entering the race for the humanoid robot as Mario wrote on X. Big tech wants humanoid robots. Apple and Meta joins the fray. Apple and Meta are now diving into humanoid robots, joining Tesla, Amazon and Nvidia in the AI powered robot race. The competition is heating up and the stakes couldn't be higher. From Atlas to Optimus, the current lineup is already impressive. These machines walk, lift and even think, some better than others. But with big tech's money and AI expertise, the next wave could be game-changing. The question isn't if humanoid robots will take off, it's how soon will they be part of our daily lives. Yes, I completely agree that humanoid robots are only a matter of time. And I think that time is much shorter than most people realize. And as Elon also replied to this post, there will be so many robots. Yes, and more and more companies are realizing this. Now we see the big guys like Apple and Meta wanting to get in on the action, just as we have heard from OpenAI that also wants to make humanoid robots as well, because they know it will Will not just be the AI brain that will be valuable, it's the humanoid robot that will open up a market that we have never seen before. And competitors are catching up to open eyes chat GPT, as last language models is not that difficult to make anymore with the internet available for everyone. And Elon has said that we should get Croc 3 later today as of writing this. So I know Sam Altman said about Elon Musk suing OpenAI. I wish he would just compete by building a better product. Well, be careful what you wish for, Sam, because tomorrow you might be looking up to see Croc 3 and where they're at. And you might never be able to catch up again. And that will put some immense pressure on OpenAI's ChatGPT business, as Croc 3 will be available for free, where ChatGPT's cheapest option costs $20 a month, the most popular one is $40 a month, and the best model is $60 a month. And Croc 3 is supposed to be better than anything OpenAI has, and not censored, and will be free. Any business with logical sense will simply make the shift to Croc 3 instead of ChatGPT and save a lot of money for the company. And if OpenAI sees a lot of people skipping chat for Croc, they will be forced to lower their prices or make it freely available like Croc. But how will they make money then? Yeah, Sam. Be careful what you wish for. But Tesla will of course also get access to this new smartest AI brain in the world, according to Elon. As he once again have confirmed that the, our cars will of course also get Croc 3 integrated with a nice over-the-air update. But Tesla's Optimus robot will of course also get access to this brain. So that will be very interesting to see what will come with Optimus in the near future. But now even OpenAI wants to pivot and start making humanoid robot as well. And even the big guys like Apple and Meta. This should tell you that this will no doubt be the new biggest market on the planet. Just as Jeff wrote on X, Apple, Meta and others exploring the bot space 
three years later, with so many other entrants only validates the size of the total addressable market. Could be winner take most for a while. Remember, AI brain, hardware plus software plus manufacturing scale, only one company has both and the lead is large. And for people that think that Tesla do not have a cloud computing service, Jeff also wrote, Tesla has cloud service. That thread original post are incorrect. Your vehicle, the data, over the air software upgrades and the Tesla app ecosystems are all cloud connected. Yes, exactly. Tesla gathered data from 7 million vehicles every day. How can people think that Tesla is not in cloud computing? But as Jeff also pointed out, Tesla is really the only one that has all the pieces for the humanoid robot in-house. And this will also be pretty capital expensive to get robots in high volume off the ground. So that is a big mountain to climb for many of the humanoid robot startups. But for Tesla, that has a huge war chest of $36 billion and are earning money on something completely different. So Tesla is not a company that is only using money like many of the startups, but they are already earning $100 billion in revenue every year. And that is not on their humanoid robots. And Apple and Meta are only getting started now, when Tesla basically have the robot ready to start working in their factories in the thousands. Also showing us just how far behind these big players are at the moment. So as we have talked about before, having the first mover advantage on humanoid robots at scale will be huge. And the first to get to a thousand robots working in their factories will likely be the winner. As the former CEO of Sanctuary has said, said, as then Tesla will be close to impossible to catch, as they will get the data from so many more robots learning new tasks when Apple maybe in two to three years will have a humanoid robot ready. Tesla will be producing them in the millions according to Elon. So I don't think it will be a winner takes all markets, but a winner will take a lot. But knowing Tesla's nature of evolving their business, I think we will see a Tesla company evolve into something the world has never seen before. Not just because the insane value and money that the humanoid robots will generate for Tesla, but we have to remember that Tesla will be printing labor and Tesla is also the world's best at manufacturing and the fastest and best at building the factories. So while we're waiting for the humanoid robot to become a normal part of our daily lives, Tesla really doesn't have to slow down or stop production of the humanoid robots. Not only will SpaceX probably buy as many robots as they are physically capable of sending into space to help build the moon base and the Mars colony and starting mining the solar system, which in itself will probably become a trillion if not a quadrillion dollar market. But Tesla themselves might want to expand into other markets as well, as Tesla is kind of known for that, right? In the beginning, they were just a car company. Then they started making charging stations and became the biggest charging network provider in the world. Then they started making energy storage system, auto beta software, solar panels. Then they started talking about robo taxis and then humanoid robots. So when Tesla then sits with the world's best engineers, with the unlimited workforce at their fingertips, and the best team in manufacturing, and the ability to build factories faster than anyone else on the planet, the possibility will suddenly become endless. So what will Tesla do? I have no idea, but they could start in whatever market they wanted to and become the best in it. They could start building factories for other companies as they will have the labor to do it the cheapest and the know-how how to do it the fastest. You want a factory? Tesla will build you one faster and cheaper than anyone else. But Tesla could of course just build it for themselves as well. Do Tesla finally want to get into that HVAC system for houses? Tesla can just build a factory with robotic labor and just start cranking out HVAC systems faster and cheaper than anyone else on the market. And why stop there? They can of course build the whole house, including solar and battery storage, HVAC system, cheaper and better than anyone else with their very inexpensive labor. Or they can start in completely new markets as Tesla will have the manufacturing know-how and the engineering power and the labor to simply compete in any market they want to.
And I'm not saying that Tesla will do this, but I'm just saying, theoretically, they could. So think that the robot is the only end game for Tesla, and Tesla will just stop innovating when they have sold robot taxis and humanoid robots. I don't think they will just sit back and then think, okay, we're just going to produce these products for the rest of our existence. It's in their DNA to innovate. The whole company and culture is set up to continue to innovate and disrupt itself. So I think Tesla will just start spilling over in hundreds of other markets with the fleet of humanoid robots, self-driving cars and buses, and experience in manufacturing and building factories themselves. So even though it's hard to even comprehend the value of the robot taxi network, well, Optimus will even draw off that business, they might only just be the beginning for Tesla to expand to other markets we haven't even thought about yet. But what do you think? Do you think Tesla will just stop innovating when they have humanoid robots and robot taxis on the streets? Or will Tesla look more like Chom in another 20 years from now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.